What's up, YouTube? World Famous Medford Peter, and you are watching World Famous Medford Peter TV. Now, let's ask ourselves some questions. Today, we are talking to Kashi69, and can this kid make a comeback? Well, I actually think this kid can. And I'm going to lay it all out for you and how I think it's going to go down. Because you know what? There are people who watch my videos that actually sit back, wonder, and say, hey, you know what? This kid absolutely is making a lot of sense. And today, by the way, we've got a couple more subscribers. Shout out to you. Thank you for the support, love, and everything else with the channel. But right now, we're talking to Kaji69. And you know what's funny? For everything that this kid has been through, he started off being a young man, making a rap career, trying to find himself, got hooked up with the Crips first, then he got hooked up with the Bloods, then he put these people in videos, then he asked for some help, then he said, hey, if I make it big, I'll give you some money, and he gave these guys some money, but these guys took advantage of him because he got bigger than life, they extorted money from him, they took money from him, they smashed his baby's mother, they went ahead and stole from him, they robbed him, they literally like beat him over the head with whatever, supposedly, these days people would say all types of stuff, but you know what I'm wondering? Can you really sit back and think, was the kid really a gang member? No. <laughs> okay. Takashi 6 9 was what you call an extorted money bag. And the gang who didn't have any real money bags because they were too busy selling drugs, the Treyway group, yeah, those guys, those guys all of a sudden saw Takashi and said, hey, you know what? We can get some money out of this kid. Not to mention his manager, which was originally, I think, CEO Chris, uh, it was his manager, and then Shoddy became his manager, and Shoddy extorted this kid, and Shoddy went after him, and Shoddy did this, and Shoddy did that. You know what? Shoddy a goon. Shoddy a goon for just coming out of his way to go ahead and extort this kid. Knew that the kid was young, saw an opportunity, and said, I can take advantage. Now, anybody who's been in a real gang, if you're a real gang member and you watch my shit, if somebody showed up and they had millions of dollars, and they said, I want to be a blood, do you really think in today's world, if you were a celebrity making money and you cut these type of weird deals that this kid cut with these guys, do you really think, all right, we're just going to make you a blood because you gave us 50 grand? No, no. Reality, where's reality? Reality is this kid got extorted. This kid was a young kid who didn't know better, afraid and needed that gang culture to build his brand. See, he got smart. I'm going to use the gang in order to go ahead and take care of people. I'm going to use the gang in order to go ahead and build my career. I'm going to use the gang to go out there. But did he really need the gang? No. Was he really a gang member? No. He was a civilian. Now, you can say, oh, we made him a blood. He's an honorary member. He was yelling blood, screaming blood, blood this, blood that. You know what? He was yelling crypt at one time, too. He was never a crypt. Crypts didn't see that and said, ah, I don't know. So he hooks up with Shoddy. Shoddy extorts money. Told, said to the guys, hey, we're going to bring this money guy into the game. He's going to go ahead and get us lots of money. Let's sit back and wait and see what this rainbow-haired kid's going to do. And they made him out to be the biggest thing on the planet. They had great security. Nobody could touch him except for the people on the inside, like he said. And at the same time, guess what? He got touched. By who? The people on the inside. Now, I don't blame him for going to court. Do you blame somebody for going to court? I wouldn't blame them for going to court because you know what? When it comes down to the end of the day, it comes down to the end of the day, Takashi 6 9 was a fixture and a money bag for Treyway. And without that bag, Treyway was not anything more than a bunch of drug dealers and a bunch of people that would rob people, extort people, and go after them. Well, guess what they did to this kid? They took an honest civilian... They hyped him up. They made him bigger than life. They said, we're Treyway. We're going to be, we're the, we're the biggest thing on the planet. Nobody could touch us with a new death row and everything else. And guess what happened? They're all sitting in jail. Why? They put themselves out there all on the TV, all on the market, on YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, and everything else. Made themselves bigger than what they were. But you know what? They really weren't that big. When you start looking at the members that are involved, nine guys went to jail, actually 11 guys total. Two of them actually were real rats. Did somebody's girlfriend ratted? People went to jail. Shardy went to jail. Malmurda went to jail. Nuke Mack went to jail. Anthony Hav Ellison went to jail. On over what? A fake bag of money? You guys extorted this kid, took him to the cleaners, made him think he was going to be bigger than life with you. And then when he realized he could be bigger than life without you and he didn't need you, and he said, fuck Treyway, 
guess what? You decided you were going to go ahead and get all mad. We're going to super violate them. Not for nothing. You guys super violated yourselves for being dumb. What gang members you know run around with video cameras filming themselves committing crimes? None. What, video, what gang members run around trying to scream, we're going to go handle this, we're going to go handle that on record? None. What gang members, if you're real gang members, will go out of your way and try to glorify the gang and say that we're bigger than life? None. You know what it is these days? People don't want to be gang members because if you associate yourself with a gang, you get an automatic charge. If you associate yourself with a gang, now all of a sudden you can get caught in a RICO. If you associate yourself with a gang, you're going to get yourself put away for 20 years on just RICO alone. Never mind the crimes that you committed, whether you robbed somebody, stole from them, extorted them, slashed them, murdered them, or whatever else. If you're on tape saying you did this shit and people got you on tape, you're going to jail. For what? For clout? For making yourself think you're bigger than what you really are not? Shout out to all the real gang members out there that are real, that's going to watch this video and know where I'm going with this. Real gang members ain't going to put themselves all over the map saying that we're the new death row. When you don't have death row money. You know who had death row money? 6 9 He was the bag for the gang. But he was the bag and he was a civilian. How do you jump somebody into a normal gang, but this kid with rainbow hair never got jumped in, never took an oath? There's an oath with these gangs, a real oath with the Crips, a real oath with the Bloods, a real oath with the Latin Kings. There was no oath. The kid never took an oath. They made the deal, kid a deal. We'll back you and help you and protect you. You bring us half of our percentage of what you're making. 20%, they think it was. That's extortion. That's extortion, people. 100%. That's extortion. You really think Takashi was a gang member, so now you want to have the right to call the kid a rat? He said what he had to say as a civilian. I give him credit. He went on a testimony on a witness stand, testified against people who were the real deal. But he was a civilian. You can claim you're in a gang all day. I can claim I'm in the Bloods. I can claim I'm in the Crips. I can claim I'm, I'm part of the, part of, what am I wearing, all black? Black Mafia shadows and everything else. But when it comes down to it, I'm a civilian. I didn't take an oath. The kid never took an oath. You can't call the kid a rat if he didn't take an oath. And all you music people that watch this, all you music real stars that have been in the game, all the real ones that are out there, the real ones, the real people that kept it real and made it in this business and did real jail time, that were real gang members, guess what? I give you all credit. Because you worked your ass off to get to where you are. You did your time. You went to jail. You didn't rat out nobody. You did everything to save yourself. And you know what? Shout out to you. But for the people that extorted them, you know what? I'll say it myself. They used to say it's Treyway and no way. <laughs> Guess what? There ain't no Treyway that was glorified bigger unless you had Takashi. Takashi with the rainbow hair was the plug. You guys were just stupid. And you didn't look into the real picture of if this kid was a celebrity, it would bring us out there and put us out there so we would get watched more. Because you guys knew you were already getting watched. And because you guys knew you were already getting watched, you used this kid as a money source for your gang and it backfired. You didn't think real gang members? Real gang members don't want the clout. Don't want to be out there. Don't want to put their face on the market. Don't want to have any type of pictures taken of them at all. Whether they've done crimes, whether they're extorting money, whether they're robbing people, killing people, slashing people, or anything else. They don't want that. All these dudes are in jail right now. You know why? Because it was all recorded. How smart was Treyway, really? Treyway, were you that smart? 
You guys are supposed to be real old G gang members. How smart are you? You're not that smart. Because the real ones ain't stupid enough to put themselves out there and then post it on Instagram. We shot three people today. <clears throat> Want to see the video? Set yourselves up to go to jail. You set yourselves up to go down the river. You set yourselves up to go ahead and end up in a court case with a celebrity. Because Takashi's a celebrity. The rest of you is just clout chasing gang members trying to make it. Treyway. No disrespect to no other gang members who have made it, who have been jumped in, who have took that oath. Takashi took no oath. You people really want to believe that shit? I ain't defending him if he did take an oath, but I guarantee he didn't. You know why I'm defending him? Because those that are calling him a rat took advantage of that kid. Those that are calling him a rat extorted money and stole his money, stole his jewelry and robbed him and kicked him out of cars, threw him out on the street and everything else. Those are the people that you should be looking at because those people that took deals, I'll tell you something. If you do fed time and they come to you with a deal, you have to talk. You have to talk to get that deal. You have to talk. There's no paperwork on that. If you're taking a real Fed deal, I know my family's Italian. I know people who went to jail out of my family who literally took a deal. They talk. They talk. Real Fed people who took a deal talked. They didn't say plead guilty, shoddy. Plead guilty to these two crimes. We're giving you 15 years. Unless he talked. He talked. Anthony Hav Allison didn't talk, neither did Nuke. We, I, we're going to trial. Ha ha. Everybody else took a deal. Everybody else took a deal. You know why? If they talked, they could get them that deal. That's how it is in the feds. That's how it really is in the feds. You guys all think, oh, these guys didn't talk. <laughs> they all talked. They all talked. The friends don't give you a deal unless they'll give you a deal. Okay. You got to open your mouth to get that deal. What did you do? How did you do it? Who did it with you? Did you, was that you in that video? Did you shoot the gun? Did you shoot six people? They already knew. The feds knew. These guys had to talk and had to take deals. They were looking at 50 years like Anthony Hobb Ellison. 25 years like Nuke Mack. Yeah. So much for all the BS. So much for people saying they ain't talking. With the feds, you talk. With the feds, if they come to you and say, we're giving you 10 years or you're facing 40. Did you do this, 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 and this? They all did it. They all talked. Stop thinking your favorite clowns over in Treyway didn't open their mouth. They did. <clears throat> no disrespect to no other Treyway members. But if you are a Treyway member or a blood or a crypt and you get state time, state time is small time. You do fed time and they say, hey, we'll give you this. Who did this? Who did this? Who did this? We won't put it on paper or anything else. Guess what? They're talking. They're talking. 100% they're talking. Your favorite celebrities, all those guys in Treyway, they got busted and were on paper. I took a deal. He took a deal. He took a deal. He took a deal. Guess what? They all talked. You guys want to blame Takashi. Oh, he's a rat. He's this. You know why they want to blame this guy? The guy got money. And the guy with money, even though he flexed his shit all over the place, is the guy that a lot of people are jealous of. You know why? Because if you're jealous of somebody's success and that person can come out more successful and you didn't think of the situation you put yourself in, guess what? You'd be jealous too. If you were Takashi right now, you got four million in the bank, which is what's actually in this account right now, thanks to his streaming. That all those streaming videos, yeah, he made a million, he made four million while he was in jail. In jail. Four million. He didn't even tour. Off of streaming, he made $4 million. If you could come out to a bag like that and never have to worry about nothing ever again, and they said to you, either open your mouth and we give you a year, or open your mouth and you're doing 47. 
If you think Takashi was the only one that opened his mouth, Shardy, Mal Murder, Mal Matrix, Kuda B, all those dudes opened their mouth and they talked. How do you think they got the deals they got? If they didn't talk and they just said, I'm guilty, the judge would throw the book at them. They have more charges than most people. More charges than most people. More than Takashi they had. They got these guys on video. You tell me none of them talked? Keep believing the bullshit, people. They all talked. They all did, except for Anthony Harvellison and Nuke Mack. You want to worship the ground on if you're a real gang member? Give those guys a clap for being stand-up guys taking it to trial. Everybody else out there is a rat. Shardy, Kuda B, Ant, uh, Mel Murder. Rats. All rats. You know why? For them to get the deals they got, they had to talk. This doesn't have to be paperwork. This is the feds. But I'll tell you something. When Takashi gets out, because he's a civilian... He was a civilian going in, a civilian when he got arrested, a civilian with these guys, and a civilian right now. I'm going to tell you, when he gets out, he's going to be big, bigger than he's ever been. He got a bag waiting for him, $4 million on streaming alone, waiting for him. He had a million and a half in the bank. Plus, he's going to get deals. He's going to have commercial deals, movie deals, a book deal, and everything else. And you're worried about his protection? He's going to need 100 guys to protect him. No, he ain't. When you do Fed time and you're a celebrity and you testify for the Feds, word up, people. Here's some real facts. You're protected for the rest of your entire life until you feel you don't need that protection. The Fed's going to have four guys with him 24 hours a day outside his house, in his house, around his house, any place he goes, along with four regular guys or more. They're going to be just regular security along with those four Fed guys. That's real facts. The Feds ain't going to let nothing happen to him. First part, if you go out and try to shoot at Takashi right now, if he walk in the streets, you're going to jail. We're going to have armed guys with that kid everywhere he goes 24 hours a day for as long as he feels it's necessary or until he moves to another country. That's real facts. That's how the Feds do it. They don't release you to the street. They don't release you to the street. We're going to let these guys go. We ratted. They put out a major gang. There'd be hits on this kid already. If there ain't hits on him now. All I'm telling you is this. The feds are going to protect the kid. With real live guns everywhere that kid goes. Every plane. Every airport. Every show. Every place he goes. There's going to be fed guys on that stage and everything else. You know why? They have to protect him. You know why they got to protect him? Because... That's part of his deal. That's part of his deal so that he didn't have to go into witness protection. That's on paperwork. Go look it up. That's part of his deal. Four guys for as long as he has, just like when you got the president of the United States, they get permanent security from the federal government. The feds protect the president. You think Takashi ain't getting that? You think George Bush Jr., George Bush Sr., Bill Clinton, okay, didn't have feds protecting them? Aren't protecting, uh, they're protecting them today, right now. Right now. In fact, if they got kids, their kids are getting protected by the feds. Real, real shit, people. You better wake up. Stop doing dumb crimes. Stop being like Treyway. Stop glorifying your shit. You glorify your shit, it's going to come back at you. <coughs> you glorify what you're doing, it's going to come back at you. Take the Takashi 6 9 case that you guys just watched go down. Take that as a lesson. Just because you think you're a badass in a gang doesn't mean you need to glorify it and put it all over YouTube. That was the mistake everybody made. He wanted a name. He got a name. He got a name by doing it wrong. Sit back and watch. Takashi doing it all right, but he will have full protection. If you think Elliot Grange ain't going to supply extra protection for that kid, 
They know that kid's a bag. He's going to be bigger than you ever could think of when he gets out January 20th or January 2020. He might walk out the door January 24th or 25th. Wait till that kid comes out. If you think he'll, he's going to be larger than life, bigger than you've ever thought, never bigger than you, anything he ever could have thought. He got deals on the table now for stuff in the millions of dollars already. He hasn't even been out yet. He hasn't even come out of jail for four months. He's set for life. Book deals, movie deals, record deals, total security by the feds for as long as he wants. He can disappear if he wants as fast as he came out. He can go ahead and ask for that witness protection down the road if someone tries to actually try something. He gets it all. It's part of his plea bargain. Think about it. I'm not wrong. That's real paperwork. They can't release him without giving him protection. They have to for as long as he feels it's necessary. Just like the president. <clears throat> Shout out to Takashi. As a civilian, I give you credit. You stood up. You did what you had to do. But you know something, kid? The next time you put together an album and you become bigger than what you already are because you're going to, and it will happen, guaranteed, don't associate with no gang members. Keep that to the side. Let those guys do what they do. And if they get stupid and caught up like the last crew you ran with did, let it fall on them. World famous Method Peter, like, comment, subscribe. This is real stuff. This is real life, people. Take the Kashi 6 9 court case, Treyway case, whatever you want to call it, as a life lesson. <clears throat> like, comment, subscribe. Don't make the same mistake. Always be a leader. Never be a follower. World famous Met for Peter, you're watching world famous TV. Subscribe. Because the videos are going to keep coming. But that's real facts. Look it up. If you don't believe me, look it up. The Fed's going to protect him as long as he feels it's necessary. Four guys. Permanently. And if that means the rest of his life, just like the president, he's going to get it. You know why? He refused witness protection. And at the same time, if they release him to the street, they know that they can actually take him out. <clears throat> they have to protect him. He was an asset for the government. He was a government witness. By law, you have to protect those people, just like the president. World famous Method Peter. Be back with another video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Straight facts on this page, straight facts.